January 4th. Here on the Great Night Pre-Show Great Room, I'm Bryce Castillo, your Great Room Navigator. I'm unlocking the door to the to the uh, to the green room, something like that. Hello, everybody. We're gonna get started in just a minute here, but thank you so much for joining me. Coming up on Great Night tonight, uh, we got apologizes for back in the saddle. We got uh, Jomo is gonna be playing some music for us here. We got some stories and. Uh, some yeah, some interesting news of the day. So, hello everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. Don't forget, uh, uh, there's still plenty of time to get your birthday borners in before uh, before the end of the green room. So, discord.greatnight.tv. That's discord.greatnight.tv, and uh, 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 get check out the birthday borner channel there if you want to send a shout out or for someone who had a had a had a very pleasant day. Alrighty, everybody. I'm going to take you over to the green room. Green room, can you hear me? Yeah. Yo, yo, yo. Hello. Hey, what's up? What? Oh, my goodness. Okay. Uh, uh, hold on. Sorry. Everything has crashed. Uh, Please. Uh, you froze. Uh, yeah. Hold on. Uh, BRB. BRB. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he's on a road in Virginia. <laughs> I right? hit a tunnel. I oh, uh, when I pop it out, that's when it goes crazy. Maybe What's up? A sec. Okay. Uh, hello? 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 All right. Take it away, Greener. Hey! Yo, yo, yo! What's Look at this yeah. green bastard. I know. That's right. Andrew yes. Heaton's back. Hello! Uh, Brett's Happy here. New Year, everybody. Brian's here. I'm here. We're all in the great room being great together. Yo, what do you think? Harry Potter, yay or nay? Boo. Where are y'all at? Boo. Uh, it's garbage. It was garbage when it was written. It yeah. was garbage as a movie. It yeah. was it, it's garbage all around. It's, so you are you are on fuck JK Rowling from the jump. Like all these Johnny come lately's with her with her political opinions. You're like, look, it's, I was here, no. I was here back when Philosopher Stone. Yep, I got the British version, just shit on it. I I mean, only in the way like I'm fuck Nikon for making shitty faxes or or for you hear that Nikon? Okay, I'm I I don't like Harry Potter, but I wish I'd gotten into it early enough to like it because that seems like a really cool phenomenon. No, it's shitty. It's bad fantasy. It's people who have never heard of fantasy who heard about it at a bar and decided to start writing fantasy from scratch, but treat everybody like fucking idiots the entire time. I hate Harry Potter. Okay, wait, hold on. Wait, so question here. Because I I've, I read three quarters of the first book, and it was too young for me. Yeah. Too but, dumb. Sure. But, but like, if I'd he read, it, if I'd read it when I was, one. like, Spoiler let's say alert. in sixth grade, it might have been great. In sixth grade. Because, like, it's it's – what wasn't it originally designed to be four kids? It was young adult, and then it kind of built up. Which part did you like more? The fact that – I miss the – I don't like it, but I wish I – I wish I'd encountered it younger because then I might. Okay, have liked but it. what's the thing you like the most about it? <laughs> uh, Did, is, I, I liked. I liked. Is that it, it the that fact it, that, that it's matures. high fantasy stripped of any of the nuance, or is it the fact that it's an idiot kid who keeps making the dumbest decisions ever? I, I have no comment on the the. Go ahead. There's no defense. All, defend, all defend, defend your precious Potter. Defend your Potter. What, what, I, what I'm saying is there there was not, nor for me can be, yeah. a series that adjusts maturity based on my age that I can come up with. That is not I'm too that, that is not a phenomenon now, but that was a lot of Harry Potter fans. Yeah. That they came in on Harry Potter first book at the right age, whatever that was, twelve, and then in advance. I think that's an interesting phenomenon that I'd like to have experienced. Brett. I like the third episode. The third, third movie. movie, I liked how it uh, switched uh, from being just about kids, and there was a darkness there. And that, yeah, that was the I one that, that was yeah. directed by Christopher Columbus. And no, no, Christopher Columbus did the he first did. two, and they yeah. were fine. But the third one was the was one that, that was Alfonso like, Cuarón. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's Alfonso what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then David Yates was the last ones. Oh, was Yates. it? Yeah. Was the third one the the, the Tri Wizard tournament? I think so. The with the one? Weeping Willow, the one with the Weeping Willow. No, I think that. that's I think that's the next one. The then. fourth one is the, the is, yeah. is the Tri Wizard. Yeah. yeah, I like the Tri Wizard tournament. Yeah, yeah, I liked it. It was all right. I thought they were great. It's a great way to f- get pussy. So, w- w- <laughs> <laughs> when you were growing up in the aughts, and if all the ladies loved it, yeah. all you had to do was read seven books. Instant read- icebreaker. 
Amazing. So, so I, I haven't read that. I've read a lot more science fiction than fantasy. Confidenticus is what I would say because I'd have something to talk about with eligible women. It was great. <laughs> that, was, uh, that was something they were always so good at is if you wanted to name a spell, just mumble the purpose of the spell and us. put yes. us at yeah. the end. <laughs> Pantus Ophicus. Right. Like uh, uh, yeah. uh, Resolution Improvicus. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No, the ladies still love it. So if I ever Deep get divorced... <laughs> you, you, you guys will know my marriage is falling apart when I start bringing the Harry Potter books in. <laughs> Wait, sorry, I got to uh, brush some up. Research. Does yeah. Mary read Harry Potter? Is she... <laughs> yeah. And a third Pussicus. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Brian, Brian, so I've, I've read way more science fiction that I've read fantasy. Yeah, I, I have read uh, the the uh, fire and and the saga of fire and ice by George R. The R. Martin. Saga yes. the saga of fire, fire and ice. ice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I've, I've read I've read all of that, and I've read a, a couple of standalones that that he wrote as well. Sure. Uh, and I wrote like the I, I read the Magician's Apprentice, and I think that's the extent of the fantasy that I've read. So like, what like, are the, what are the touchstones in the fantasy world? Are you talking Piers Anthony's? Yeah, Magic and Oh my God, which I enjoyed. We I talk really enjoyed Piers Anthony. No, because it gets problematic because yeah no no you read the why? first three you why? read the first three Th that's books. one where like a portal opens and there's like like yeah, a, like kind phase, of a samurai culture the, coming yeah, in uh, and no, the and and phase. that's where oh no no, no. Uh, 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 hold on uh, uh you're talking about the blue adept series yes okay mm -hmm. that is a legitimately amazing idea yes concept sci-fi and and fantasy parallel side by side there's a shimmer and you can go from proton between to phase, phase yeah. between the two right yeah. uh uh over on proton you have uh androids and, and by the way for some reason everybody has to be naked unless you're rich sure <laughs> then you get to wear clothing sounds like some sci-fi shit yeah yeah well it sounds very pierce anthony uh and then, and then, <laughs> I, I don't think this is the th the thing i read was like castles and magics and and, and wizards and things you're and thinking of xanth maybe that's it and the wizard would, would, i think would, you're thinking smoke tabac. Of it wasn't spelled tobacco it was tabac oh yeah i believe that's a xanth word <laughs> Is it Piers Anthony? Is that I, re I read it in middle school, which is why I don't remember all the relevant details here. But it, Magician's Pierce Morgan Apprentice was I thought it was, was the Blue Adept. No. What? No. Hey. <laughs> now I'm looking to Sorry. the chat room. Yeah. It's always yeah. a bad sign when you look to when the chat room like for the confirmation. Uh, uh, right. So, so uh, Piers Anthony yeah. uh, uh, had three. Big series. Uh, one Facts. was the incarnations of immortality, immortality. Mm -hmm. which began with a dude who is about to commit suicide, and door opens. There's death. He's like, "What the boom?" Shoots death, and then uh, fate shows up. Is like, "Oh, you killed death. You know what that means? You got to become death. death." Santa Claus them. Yeah. Yes, correct. Gotcha. It was pre Santa Claus, pre, twenty yes. years before that. Yeah. Santa also, Claus ripped this shit off. Yeah. Yep. So he goes down, gets on a horse. Someone get the turns fucking into tool a man yellow on the phone, a pale Camaro, yes. and drives it around. It's amazing. It's pretty awesome. It's incredible. We got a few uh, the Proton the Phase man. One, the the Adept series, uh, is about a sci-fi world and a fantasy world that are in parallel, yes. in tandem. And uh, there's a shimmer, and you people figure out how to go back and forth. Who's there? Are parallels of sci-fi world, mostly uh, old surf, man. surfs, gotcha. basically. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 I believe there was also Xanth. <laughs> yes, Xanth. Xanth is about Florida. Yes. Okay. It is about a magical Hulk land Hogan's there that is always a peninsula. Okay. Sometimes it's Italy. Sometimes it's Florida. Sometimes it's other places. Okay. But it is. Everybody is born with a talent, uh, and you don't figure out your talent until you're in your teenage years. Mm -hmm. It's sort mm -hmm. of X-Men-y, like in that regard. If it's like Florida, it's probably OnlyFans. <laughs> uh, it, <laughs> but uh, but, but uh, 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 at any rate, uh, uh, none of those sounded like the ama magician's I'll, apprentice. I'll call my buddy I borrowed it from and okay. find out. I don't know. Okay. I'll text him later. So that's all Piers Anthony. But the problem with Piers Anthony is later on, suddenly it gets weird and weird. You're talking about Firefly. Firefly, in which it is a sci-fi standalone novel in which there is a creepy blob that exudes pheromones that makes people super horny and then inserts itself in people's butts mm -hmm. and then desiccates them from the inside. I mean, I was just saying the second series from the photon phase. 
Blue Adept series. There's a second one that sounds happened. like this man's a real hornball. He is a hornball. Yeah. yeah. Sounds like he's got a real wandering pecker. It's the first time I ever read somebody who wrote down the words, as far as I can tell, this person's only crime is being sexually attracted to people who are under the age of 10. Mm. Only crime. Mm. Okay. Is wow. there a controversy section on this man's Wikipedia? <laughs> I'm sure there don't is. Know. Yeah. No. I feel like I feel like you might have the. I, we need a word. I, I'm sure there's a long German word for like when the controversy section on your Wikipedia has a longer <laughs> word count than anything else. <laughs> Can, can, you, can, can, you, yeah. can you get ahead? Because you've got a Wikipedia page, don't you? Do, do you have a Wikipedia page? Uh, yeah. uh, not oh, anymore. <laughs> like, a, not given this subject matter. Mm. Well, no, I, I wonder if you couldn't get ahead of it by, like, like seeding fake controversies so that when somebody does Google you and read you it, you're like, you, you, ah, yes, that thing. Yes, I had been courted by the wanna, NSA. You, you want to keep a lot of your Wikipedia shit as steady and agreed upon as possible because... Those mods, yeah, there are no like more uh, uh, activist mods on on these interwebs than the Wikipedia my, mods. My Wikipedia page had uh, said that I had Hobbit feet for a long time. <laughs> there was a quite a while, and I know exactly who posted it too. And I was just so like, for the right, for the record, <laughs> I very much prefer the the uh, uh, details pages that are clearly written by AI bots. Uh, because like somebody told me that there are those celebrity net worths things, and I love the one that was clearly written by a robot that said that I was number one worth fifty two million dollars. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've I've had that where somebody emailed me about that. Yeah, and also showed a picture of me and my wife, who's definitely Veronica Belmont, <laughs> not my wife. My hair is black. My eyes are black. I have 52 inch biceps. Wow, <laughs> it's incredible. Uh, I, I read. Can I, if I find it, um, the other day somebody made a, an algorithm that writes uh, uh, obituaries, and it was like, <laughs> <laughs> it was like that's something people still need to do. Uh, let's see. It's good radio. <laughs> yeah. What are we looking for again? No, never mind. It's, I, 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 I should have found it in advance. I should have found it in advance. He was looking up his own It's okay. Obituary. We'll wait for you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. Wait. Uh, Brushwood, Brian, wife, and husband. Yep, there it yep. is. And that's you and Veronica Belmont. <laughs> right. Uh, uh, yeah, which is not uh, Bonnie. No. No. Where's it, the 52 million? I want to see, I wanna see uh, that. Yeah, see if you can find see the 52 that 50, million 52 one. 52 million. <laughs> Because I'm going to ask you for a loan if that's the case. I, I read that shit. There we on the go. Internet. There we 52 go. 52 million. 52 well, million. Uh, 54 you million. You may also like David Blaine or Roy Horn. Yeah. Oh, no, wait. It looks like you're three to four million now. Uh, I, I, I don't know shit. where those you took, numbers. You took a terrible oh, man, tumble. Man, the fake oh. algorithm was really affected oh, by the really, supply chain. You really fucking. Wow. I'll lend you. I'll give you a loan if you fall out on hard time. Fifty-two I mean, million. I got fifty bucks. Fifty-two I can loan. million. I he had. I I'll take. 50, now he's at a lowly, a lowly four million dollars. So, so, so there's like you, still you made know, up there, robot these, stuff. Don't do this. There's these bullshit know. websites that come up with fake because I've I've had one of those two before and it says I'm in movies I've never heard of. Mm. Um, a few years ago, I was like, well, I'm gonna. Google jerk boys. One of these, one of jerk these websites. Boys too. They're, they're, still, they're, jerking. They're, still jerking. Still <laughs> jerking. Jerking hard or hardly jerking. <laughs> Every which way but jerk. Yeah. <laughs> so there, there's a website. He has that, no idea what those movies are. <laughs> there's a website that has, uh, like, you can you can look up mug shots. Yeah. And I was like, oh well, there's probably people with my family members' names. Why so I'll I'll, I'll put their names in it and yeah. I'll I'll pass them out at Thanksgiving. It'll be funny. We'll read what everybody. <laughs> oh, no. no. And. No. What, no, it wasn't. It wasn't that I discovered that anybody in my family committed a crime. I put in my dad's name is Joe Heaton. Yeah. My grandfather's name was Joe Heaton, who died. And I put in Joe Heaton, and it immediately popped up. Joe D. Heaton, name of my grandfather, status alive. He's dead. Yeah. Uh, alias Joe Meaton, living in <laughs> yeah. Nash, Oklahoma, one town over from the town he died in. And I was like, that bastard fake his death. And like I like I maybe. Like, let's say 15% chance, like, escaped the old folks' home and, and just, like, went to his cabin. My so, name is Joe Meaton. What's your name? Joe, and he, like, glances over to Busher Shop, and he's yeah. like, Meaton. Meaton. <laughs> I mean, tell me you got on your bicycle and went to, to investigate. 
Uh, well, I mean, it was it was several. I mean, I was in New York at the time. Uh, uh, that would have been a long pedal. <laughs> yeah, it would have been. <laughs> would have been. It would have been a hell of a yeah, yeah a lot of cardio. A lot of, yeah, a lot yeah. of exercise. Yeah, would have had some quads on this fucker. Mm -hmm. Uh, when we when we went to New Mexico as a kid, uh, when I was a kid, we went to Carlsbad Caverns, and when we passed through Roswell, we kept seeing Joe Heaton for state legislature bumper stickers. Yeah, in New Mexico, not where I'm from. And we asked somebody like, "Who's Joe Heaton?" They're like, "Oh, just some guy looks like you." We were like, "Did Grandpa? Did Grandpa bang <laughs> Here we somebody?" Go yeah. yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Man, uh, I don't know if you know this this uh, story's uh, parentage when it comes to. Uh, <laughs> Uh, people who, mm, I, I, I don't want. I, where are we going? Where are we going? With what this? I want to do going is avoid this? going into Ghost Dad too, because uh, that was a hell of a journey the first time. Okay. Wait, wait, we want to talk about my absentee father? No, I'm saying the opposite. We don't want to do that. Yes. Okay. okay. We're not going to yeah, do that. Yeah, we. Xanth. Moving on. Yeah, let's so, talk hey, about let's talk about the color of the I remember that one of the whatever books whatever names happened to Capri Suns. I remember that. Really? That was yep. That was one of the Xanth really? books. Which ones? Wow. What happened? One of the Xanth books. Oh, I think it was, was the color was the color of her panties. <laughs> was oh, one of the names that was the of name of it. You, yeah, you've you've seen the whole like uh, uh, Chuck Tingle corpus, right? We love Chuck Tingle. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do not even. Oh, I I have a fan. I mean, yeah. I've never I've never read the stuff, but the titles are brilliant. Yes, right? like, and I I hope that that guy's made millions because it's like it's EK. Such... If you are watching right now, could you please put the one up that we always say, please, if she's on. It's, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll I'll keep watching. No, we we love Chuck Tingle. Chuck Tingle's the best. She has the shirt. She has a Chuck T Chuck Tingle shirt. The what is it? Lo like Love is Real or something uh, like no, that. No, it's the one with the different characters. Oh, okay, yeah. Because also when he, when he's in public, he he wears like a karate gi and yeah. and a and a paper bag on his head. I think I think there we go. No, yeah, there's pounding in the butt with my own butt. And there was uh, uh, well, that was that was the classic. That was that was pounding the in the butt viral. by my own sense of immortal or mortality. And, yeah, but yeah, there was in the butt, or it's like, like I, I, I pounded in the butt by my Parsec Award-winning <laughs> book. Pounded him, but then yeah, there was like pound, pounded in in the butt by, by the my book. Own butt. Pounded <laughs> in the book yeah. by my own butt, like. Uh, uh, yeah, man, that man is is done very well for himself with yep. the inventive titles, and he certainly has a, a very hardcore following. It seems like people yeah. really like it. I don't know how much, uh, uh, you know, people. And he's got uh, a podcast. I'm sure well, yeah, everybody has a podcast. That's true. Days. Yeah, Jack. by law. Uh, I I know somebody who does a podcast who uh, also wrote a book with an inventive title. I was trying to think of it. I couldn't remember it. Uh, I, I I believe it was a uh, uh, secretly gay, gay president, president <laughs> fights zombie, zombie army with the help of a oh. wizard and his barely legal teenage daughter whose titty falls out at one point. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 so what's it about? Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it's pretty funny. Did, did, did you did did we ever make an audio book of it? Like, no, I, I don't think do that, that there is an audio. There it book. is. Secretly yeah. gay president the thwarts zombie, zombie invasion, invasion with the help of a wizard and his barely <laughs> legal smoking, smoking hot daughter, daughter whose who's titty, titty falls, falls out at one, one point. <laughs> Yeah, so it's it can be Wait, yours you? at ninety nine cents. <laughs> yes. Yeah, great job. How, yeah. much, how did it sell? How did it do? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Who tracks things? Like I don't that? know. C cup, D cup. <laughs> nobody can say. That titty falls out, man. I'll tell you. It, when not, it falls out, it I'm not, really I'm falls not out. some fucking French artist. I deliver no. on that shit. <laughs> I'm fucking like Roger Corman up in this bitch. You, you got some Wait, truth in advertising. You, you, get, you get what's on the fucking label. <laughs> That's one of my favorite things that uh, Samuel L. Jackson said when he was talking about snakes on a plane. When he's like, yeah, and at one point you see a titty. And you know that snake's going to bite that titty. And yeah, you see the snake bite that titty. I, I had so much fun when that movie came out. My, 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 oh. my, I was a senior in college. My buddy Evan and I threw a whole snakes on a plane party. Sure. Uh, where we had like fake snakes and things. We, we went to the movie theater where we were drunk and just shouted snakes on a plane all the time until we were asked to stop it. We were like, <laughs> we get why you don't want us to shout snakes on a plane, but you're aware 
you are in a film called Snakes on a yeah. Plane. Like this is ac- this is actually very appropriate behavior for we, watching Snakes on a Plane. EK and I saw it at the Draft House, Alamo nice. Draft House, and the audience were we're all like, it was like because you're not supposed to talk in Draft House movies, you'll be thrown right, out. Right, yeah. But it's like everybody in the audience looked at each other. We're all in agreement, right? <laughs> we're all in agreement on what's about to happen. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And so and we the, had yelled, such yelled a the good line. Time. Yeah. Yeah. We had such a good time. Yeah, Here's yeah. the thing with that movie because I went there on Friday to watch it. Too, and when it opening when it came out, it's kind of like a uh, member in Swingers when they drive to Vegas and they start off and like Vegas, off and, you're like, yeah. Vegas. and then about Six an hour hours in, later, about an hour Vegas. in, you're like, oh, we're just kind of watching a shitty movie that got famous <laughs> on the internet because yes. of one line. Sure, and then at the end, he says the line, and, and that's what's it. the yeah. line? Is that the one with? with that's uh, it. I'm tired of these motherfucking snakes, snakes on, on this, this motherfucking well, I know, no, I know that plane. One, swingers in Las Vegas. That's a bit of um, money. Oh no no no! Just there's that scene that's that's the most amazing uh, road trip scene. Like they ever. get all so fired up and decide they're gonna go and driving then to Vegas. Time yeah, snaps yeah, yeah. And, and it's they're like, like they're listening to fucking Viva Las Vegas and they're yeah, like yeah. punching the floorboards. Then it's smash cut an hour in and it's just all that adrenaline has it's like gone. totally gone away and you're just they're just sort of like dead eyed in, in the way that you would driving a car for a right. four hour drive. Mm-hmm. So uh, two things. First of all, uh, snakes on a plane. That line. Uh, I'm tired of these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane. Was apparently not in the script until so many memes came up so, yes. you know acting like no, yeah, that it, had it, to it be became in a yeah. joke of like if this movie comes out and he's not saying yeah. this and then during the reshoots they shot it which is which is very obvious when you watch the movie because he's not in any kind of animated state where well, he's like all right everybody you need to go to the back you need to go to the side you need to go to the other door we're gonna survive this that <laughs> yeah, but I love is, I love that they do build in there. They did build up a little yeah. bit because there's a point where you're like, oh, is he gonna say it now? And then no, they yeah. And then you go, they, they do a rule of three. I think there was a rule of three there because I think was twice there? there was a, a possibility of him saying, I want the, and they're like, what? I don't know. We're just you're gonna, gonna make us working. watch fucking snakes on a plane again, but right I, I, I do not. I do not think that that was yeah, the that case. That came out in either 06 or 07. I feel like once every fifteen years is about right. Yeah. <laughs> for, so, for that, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, one thing about this particular time when it came out is they were trying viral ad campaigns or whatever, and uh, it was also at a time that like Scam School had just launched, and I I, I was starting to get when you weird made that fifty three million dollars. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That when was I the made that fifty three million dollars. Man, million dollars. Uh, and uh, before that terrible accident, I, I that get tumbled a, his gigantic <laughs> fortune, <laughs> spilled into the ocean, never yep, to be seen never again. Never with seen the, the jute industry declined, yep. and all of his all of his money was he in was jute. Tackled in the, in, in in the big short. <laughs> uh, my phone rings. I answer it because this is back in the days when I would answer my phone, and uh, and plain as day says, Brian, this is Samuel L. Jackson, mm-hmm. and I was like, really? And he goes, yes. I'm calling you to ask you to watch my movie, oh, Snakes yeah, on a yeah. Plane, and he goes on. He says, he says. I don't want you to be messing with your hairdo, or, or actually he said hair don't. Uh, and, and, and he goes on and gives yeah. very specific details, and it turns out like they had a website right, yeah, where yeah. you could I, give I a phone number. One of my friends, it was yeah, like yeah. the most. I, I blew his mind. Yeah, it was really cool, and it was uh, well, done. well but, but but specifically for me, it was at the exact right moment where that was not the most unreasonable thing in the planet to be happening to right. me is yeah. for yeah. Aunt Samuel L. Jackson to be calling I mean, me. You know, right. When you're in the fifty-three million dollar club, fifty-four million yeah, yeah, dollars, yeah, yeah. people, right. come you on. Were, you were in <laughs> a that, group that was that was oh seven dollars too. Let's be let's exactly. be clear on that. Yeah. Now, like, now no, before yeah. that'd be like million fifty-eight now. Yeah. million. Those were real dollars. Uh, oh shit! There it is. Popular bio: fifty-two million dollars for. Yeah. <laughs> you made it back. <laughs> Hey. You made it back. You made Yay. it all back. That was a roller coaster. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Did really my, did my hey, credit go up? I was hanging out with really you? worried. Hey, Brian. I want to raise. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's great. Uh, I, 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 uh, I've appointed them as my middle management. So mm. you can just write them, say, where's my check? I'll do. <laughs> Bitch. Say, Brian. <laughs> Can I, can I just can I, can I print a page off like that and give it to a mortgage broker? Because that'd be terrific. If I'm yeah. like, look, actually, just give him that page. And yeah, just I know this guy. He'll back me up. Yeah. Ryan's good for it. Yeah. <laughs> look, here's a picture of us. 
<laughs> at the premiere of Jerk Boys. You're sitting with uh, me and his wife, Veronica too. Belmont. Yeah. Still jerking. Yeah. <laughs> jer- jer- jerking going bananas. Exactly. <laughs> Jerk Boys 3. I know. Just send me uh, that page via email, uh, Justin at jerkboysfans. <laughs> Only. Dot com. Yep. Uh, See, I er- like it. That's how I know so <laughs> yes. much about it. We're completing the lore. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We're reconnoitering the lore. Uh, uh, man, I'll tell you what. I- I'm tired of, of all these uh, hassles. I got sick of Twitter today. It's what? a dumb fucking website. Yeah, it is. Holy shit. It's a really dumb website. Man, you man, what, that? What, what, what pushed you over the line now yeah, in 2021? What, what changed? That did not, you, you, not you were okay to. with it last year. We were talking about this with the Cedar Fever, oh. where apparently people can live here in Austin for many, many years. And, and then it, one day. And then one day it just it breaks snaps. through. Yeah. yeah. I think it was just that, where I was just like, because somebody else was like, I, I, I just wrote a tweet. This is the dumbest fucking website. Uh, and somebody's like, well, you know, 4chan and Reddit. And I'm like, here's what I can say about 4chan and Reddit. Yes, there are some weird people. And yes, they have some weird opinions. But you go there, and then you go to a place with a specific topic. Yes. You want to talk about soccer. You want to talk about Barbies. You want to yep. talk about fitness. You want to talk about something. It at least subdivides you into the beginning of a conversation, a prompt for which yeah. there will be a conversation in a community. And they if might you don't want that conversation, bad. just go on. I, well, I that, that's Reddit the internet to be in general. way better. Uh, Reddit, Reddit's Reddit's just nicer. 4chan the same way, but it's anonymous. There are communities for which you go and talk. You are self-selecting to enter into these conversations. Right. Twitter, the prompt is, hey... Can you unconsciously discover all of your flaws and then project them across the website? Yeah. If you could just do yourself a favor and project all of your insecurities across the website 24-7 forever, that would be great. And people do it. And and it's crazy. It's the dumbest shit. It's, I, 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 without joking, I think like 10, 20 years from now, we're going to look back and go, oh, we like gamified real mental problems for people oh, we, we were like hey do you want incentives to 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 say all of the things that you should not be obsessing over on the internet constantly we're going to give you rewards for that yeah i well th- there's kind of two flavors to that right there's performative twitter where you're playing the game of twitter where nothing you say is sincere or everything is disingenuous and then there's I wish for a library or, or a diary, but failing that, I'll settle on all of these press releases. Yeah, and, and, it's like and, everybody has their own one-man unpaid news station. Well, and and, and I've gone through various phases, uh, and and as I often have said, Twitter is what happens when you want a chat room, but you only have press releases, and and uh, uh, as a result, I think that AI bots. 10 years from now are going to be able to extract who who was feeling how about Twitter at when and actually have some real insights. Like, I love the idea that there exists a more sincere public fire hose of confessional uh, 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 daily logs than at any point in all of yeah, humanity, yeah. full stop. It, it, so it, you're it, not it, saying it, that that's, that's just Twitter. You're saying that that's all over the place. Oh, no, no, no. I'm saying specifically so Twitter it, because it, we talk to Twitter in a way yeah. that's different. And it's instantaneous. We, and... we, when we sit down and type anything on Twitter, we are imagining talking that we're speaking to somebody who we love. And... That's not true when you type a, a web log or a Reddit or, post or it's or, a hate or, fuck or, kind of thing. Any of that Twitter, stuff, right? Right? Yeah. Or yeah, yeah. I think I've been doing this wrong. Yeah. But I, I, I mean, you know, it, it, it went, like, right don't one, get me wrong. I've given it up. This is the now everything's point. fake. This is the point. There is no right way to eat a Reese. Right, right. It, it, it's just razor blades, and everybody's like, I don't know why I, people seem to be really liking it, but like, wait, so I, I just keep I, cutting my mouth, I, but I'm not gonna say it bothers me. <laughs> I have to go back because now. everybody else what, will fucking there, look at me. I agree with this entire take, right? Was this just the sheer like? Was there a, was there the straw that broke the camel's back? Or what was this just sheer, it finally ground, ground you down? There's just, uh, like, because the other tweet I had was, everybody's so fucking weird on this website. Uh, and, and the reason why I tweeted that was because it's like, I'll bet you if I fucking talk to literally anybody here for one second, I, a Zoom, in person, any kind of way, I, I would probably get more out of that interaction in two seconds. There is a performative element, and whether or not you... 
are deliberately performative or whether or not you think you're being genuine, like, uh, 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 there, there is an element to that that, like, uh, uh, just drives me up a wall. I don't know. There was just something about the inauthenticity yeah. of the fact that it's like, Everyone's got to say something, and then and then all of a sudden you get all the reply people yeah. that are like, like I don't know, show me the data, right? Show me, I don't know, who we're sources. Like I, I, like, I have, I have, like what all, the fuck? I have, right. I have all mine auto delete after I think it's six months. I don't, I don't like. I'm just like you don't keep a log. Don't That's what? Smart. Yeah, why? Eh, chicken shit. I've I'm got still live I've got your, your life in. I've sharpie, got better man. thing when I when I die and you're looking for stuff. Like read one of my books. Don't don't look at look. What are you going to make it hard for anthropologists ten thousand years from now? Yes, to, I'll tell you why too. I don't. Who you I are. don't want that. Okay. Why not just say you're, who you you're, are? You're you're that you're the you're the body in Pompeii that that has like a uh, like like hopscotch. And they're like that man loved hopscotch because no, it's all the they know about you. That, that that is frozen by the lava mid jerking off. Uh -huh. and, be, and you know yep. what? And 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 I'm grinning because the world. My last thought as I evaporated. Is ten thousand years from now, <laughs> Justin. <laughs> you know, one of the things that I've noticed with Twitter and with Facebook, I'm still on that. But uh, is that still you're still on Facebook? Yeah, I'm still. Are on you still on Facebook? I'm technically, but I are I you still go on it like once every oh, two yeah. months? I don't even do. I don't even. I don't. I won't even open Instagram anymore. Well, I but, like Instagram. Instagram's like a coffee table book everybody's making for themselves. It's, it's I like nicer. Instagram. Everybody's nicer. On but yeah. for Control all room those to green things room. that I do, yes, yes. Uh, you got ten minutes. Ten minutes. All okay, right. Thank you. But for all of those things that I've noticed, like over the years of me trying to figure out what my brand is and all what I'm trying to put out there, I've started going, "Who is my? Who are my followers? Who are my fans?" And do I want those people to be my fans? <laughs> That's kind of where I've come. When I start getting these weird shit, I'm like, I don't want to entertain these people. What is? I mean, that's the other problem here. is that like I can bitch about it, but ultimately the the reason why the website is going to be uh, influential forever, and I do agree with there are some people in the chat that are like, hey, just follow things that make your life better, and, right. and it's going to be fine, and that is true, right? That is yeah. possible. That's not the world that I live in because I have to follow politics, yeah. right? Uh, and and so I have to uh, radiate myself with whatever poison so I can be appropriately. No, so so I, I'll I'll go on like. Maybe a full hour, and then I won't go on for like two weeks. Like, no, like, my oh, brain's like broken. Really my brain is fucking actually broken. Like, like, and, and there are times where I can not do it, and then there's other times where I just it's my default like thing that I'm going to scroll through because I'm frustrated about something else or like. Uh, uh, and look, and, and the reason why this is going to be the the influential website it will be forever is because right now it is King Media. Everything else follows Twitter. Uh, uh, every television station, really? every magazine, every blog, they about follow, it. Uh, they follow the Twitter news station. And the reason why, the reason, why they, like Twitter, the reason why, right. Twitter, why they follow Twitter, the reason why they follow Twitter is because a, it's a content factory, yep. and b, because all the other fucking journalists are on there. And being a journalist is a lonely, ego depleting fucking job. And so, at the very least, you can have all your other friends there. So when you say, "I got a puppy," all your other friends who know how ego depleting and fucked up your job is can go. Heart yeah. and retweet your work, and you can feel great. Look, my peers liked me. Very interesting. There's this short story I read one time, where every, <laughs> I believe it was Zan. Every it was, yeah, it was, it was Zan. It was and every, Zan everybody's series. everybody's living in these hermetically sealed basements because the world outside is so dangerous. Right. And, uh, and the, I'm sorry, you said it's science fiction. Yes. Yes. <laughs> but, okay. but to, yeah. to, to finish though. Uh, one of the there's a family and they make friends with this other family through their Zoom equivalent, and the the man and the wife have an affair kind of over Zoom, and she gets kicked out. And then uh, one day there's just a note waiting for him at the door that says it's perfectly fine outside. Come join me, right? That's kind of like when you're describing Twitter. That's just I'm like I should fucking get off that. Like it just yeah. sounds like this yeah. giant black hole of sadness. And but, but fortunately for the most, I feel like I have a very healthy attitude with it because I'll go on it again. I'll go on it briefly, and then I'll go like a week or two without it because I'm just, I it's not also, a real place because i'm working on i was talking to you about it the, this episode this politics episode that i'm putting out on on friday which is all about online arguments and specifically the fault lines that they're on and and how much good they're doing what so so many problems solved. it's no i mean that's the thing the the the, the episode is going to be about uh nfts and what, not nfts themselves but just the argument 
around NFTs because I'm finding it very fascinating who is on either side of it and how passionate they are. And I have a thesis that this is in its own way a mutated and reamalgamated form of the decimated former idea of jocks and nerds. That the the archetype of that used to be a jock before everybody was on the internet and everybody had uh, loved Captain America and everybody did things that were specifically nerd related right. are now being channeled into this archetype that is very Web3, that is very crypto, that is very NFTs. Uh, and the reaction, as it's always been, is the nerd reaction. And and that is uh, a understanding of a longer tail, more willing to uh, uh, be reserved, but maybe missing out on immediate action kind of stuff. Uh, anyway, so I've just been in this deep dive of like, pathos and anger mm. and 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 trying to dissect why these things happen and then i just looked at twitter and i just see intellectual minds personal friends that i respect and they're just stabbing themselves yeah. in the eye and other people are stabbing themselves in the eye harder so they can like impress each other and i'm like what the fuck is this bizarre fucking like a uh, 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 social experiment I, I i have uh two twitter accounts what i've not touched since i worked for news corp when i joined news corp i had my regular account and then i had andrew heaton dash whatever and all i followed were Zap. ways to be more productive ways to eat healthier and ways <laughs> to love your company and that yeah. was the one that i supplied to hr it was like here you go <laughs> yeah uh, so one of the surprising things I came across recently was uh, over the last month, I, I think I put up a Twitter poll saying, like, how do you use Twitter? I post this, I post that, I post that. But by far, 74%, the number one response was, I don't post anything. I just read. And that was fascinating to me. Uh, and, and I guess I'm guilty of doing the same thing because I've gotten way conservative with what I post because like, I don't know. I'm not, you, just, you don't I'm deal never with in the it. mood to argue. You don't want to deal with it. Right. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And, well, yeah, and that, that, that's, that's why increasingly I post pictures of my dog and, and yeah. show pictures okay, of my like, kids. That's, or I like, like to, to go back. Like I, I've got all these friends that used to be very funny comedians and now they've become one person news stations and they spend all their time fighting with strangers who 85% chance are sitting on a toilet and there's no resolution. And it's like, what are you, you could learn guitar. You could do that. So, but instead you're fighting with strangers that aren't even using their real name. Why are you doing this? To me, the, the, the big distinction, the, the, the highest point of contrast is, are they throwing stones or not? Uh, there, there are, there are ways to have discourse like, well, I'm conflicted because I think this and maybe I think that. What do you guys think? That's a conversation. But then it's like, uh, 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 Hit you thought Hitler was bad. Uh, what if Hitler had a Tyrannosaurus Rex butt? You know, uh, you're just throwing stones. And I, I wish there was a nuanced way to just completely filter out or at least identify like, hey, this is a stone thrower. And this is somebody who's having a conversation. But uh, also, th like, those are my cousins. So, <laughs> but also it's like the we all know and we've known this since email and ICQ and BBS and Usenet. Uh, uh, text is where tone goes to die. Yes. Yeah. So it's like we're just weaponizing text. So you're reading it in a way for all the people that you hate. You're like you read everything, <laughs> and everyone you love, you read. <laughs> 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 but, and so, like four and, score and seven years ago, <laughs> I had a delightful poop. Oh, yeah, and you're oh, like, oh, congratulations, you, political person I enjoy. <laughs> and then meanwhile, <laughs> me, 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 I hate you. And it's like, oh, political person I hate. Screw you. And by the way, I mean, when we're talking about political people, they're intentionally trying to either piss you off yeah. or or, or right. make you happy. But like, uh, or, or, uh, or they're, or they're general, not even anybody, dealing with you. Yeah, there's anybody who's who's hitting you up. Like, like you don't know. I, I hit up our friend Molly Wood about something. She had retweeted this article, and I thought that there were some flaws with the article. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. I think that that maybe there should be things about this. And she was like, fucking excuse me, what the fuck, dude? Why are you coming at me like this? And I'm like, 
I, I literally was just trying to engage with the thing, and I don't blame her because I do that shit all the time. Yeah. I get an email or I get a text or I right. get something when I'm just not in in yeah. the right headspace, and I read it as meh. Yeah. 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 Uh, I think we're done. I think it's time to go. Is it? I don't know. We should. Yeah, we See that was it. Bryce. We should end it on something that isn't me just fucking kvetching. Well, about yeah, shit. no, no, no. Let let sense on on something more visionary and 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 uh, exactly uh, robots. I that made fuck. Gumbo, uh, Transformers. This we're, time they fuck. <laughs> where they used to fly around and shoot things, and but now, now they, they just fuck. fuck. Now, yep. Hey, yeah. Brian, take off one of your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> My daughter, at the age of nine. <laughs> Said something amazing. She said, uh, 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 she said, she, I corrected her because she was calling it Omnicron. And I said, it's not Omnicron. <laughs> and like, well, what is it? It's Omicron. She goes, wait a minute. So it used to be a Transformer, and now it's a bad Pokemon? <laughs> nine years really old. really good. We got we, we, really we to get Callie in. Yeah, yeah that's Sweet. beautiful. <laughs> All right, we love you guys. Back to Earth. So uh, We're going to hang out with James Webb's telescope. All right, Take thank you. Great. Problematic Great. telescope. Okay, thank you, everybody. Welcome back. I believe back. it was Zan. Hey, Fearless Free, thanks for reading my book. I appreciate that. Hi, Okay. Yep. Yep. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for rejoining us here in uh, the, the the great room, the green great room. Uh, let's see. Did we get any birthdays? We did get a couple of birthdays here at Discord.GreatNight.TV. Specifically, one the Ben Franklin. Happy birthday, the Ben Franklin. Ooh, ooh. What about me? We missed my birthday. Oh, that's right. Is that Corey Cranfield? Yeah, Hello, Corey Cranfield. Hey, everybody. Hey, uh, yeah, your birthday was, we actually, we, we didn't forget it. Oh, we, that's right, we did. We, we did. mentioned it on the pre-show last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, happy birthday, Mr. Well, I, Christmas I just birthday. Wanted, uh, I just wanted it twice, I guess. You're allowed to have, you know what? You are allowed to have your birth, you're allowed to get double yeah. shout outs when your birthday's on Christmas. Yeah, baby. Uh, hello, Corey, welcome back. Yeah, what's happening, man? Welcome back. Uh, uh, it's time for a little bit of critical racing theory. Yeah, I'm so excited. We got an email from, uh, uh, a, 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 a listener to the segment, Chris, who we've been in, ta in, in talks oh. with before, um, and we're, we're talking with him about some other stuff. But he sent along uh, a game. He, okay. he he wants us to make predictions for the next season. Okay. And so he's asked wow, us. That's like impossible. It's like, the, yes. with the new cars. Like... <laughs> It'll be very because because oh, okay. we don't know what those new cars will be like. No. We don't know any of the testing stuff. So uh, basically, he he's got a few segments. We, uh, maybe we don't do all of these today. Yeah. Uh, but but uh, the the segments he's got is which driver will be higher in the standings on each team. Okay. Um, who will be? Oh, that's so. Hard. Who's going to get the most penalty points? Um, okay. the, in the season, uh, the team rank in order, and then the top ten drivers plus last place. Okay. So let's let's just do let's just do the driver lineups per team. Okay. How about that, right? So, uh, 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 we're, and we're talking about Formula One here. Mercedes, Lewis Hamilton, or George Russell? The hotshot new George Russell. This one hurts a lot. Um, As you give George, a, give, give him a good car. This this one hurts because I think George Russell might be the faster driver. Really? I do. I do. However, Lewis mm -hmm. Hamilton is more experienced and also, like, they're just not going to give it to the kid on day one. Right. So I'm going to, I'm going to. I think even even if there's a world where they end up being, uh, at least uh, team wise, considerably more equal, it's definitely not year one for sure. Correct. They, he is definitely a first driver, second driver, on. on yeah. So I, I'm I'm going to say Lewis, assuming he's still racing on the team. Yeah, I, I think I think it's definitely Lewis, and I think all this stuff about is he going to retire or not is hogwash. Yeah. I think that's all. I think that's, I think it's a distraction more than yeah. anything. Uh, all right. Next is Ferrari Charles Leclerc. Versus Carlos Sainz. Oh, this one hurts because I was all into Charles Leclerc. Uh, so uh, 2021 was Carlos's first year with Ferrari, and ended up outperforming Charles just yeah. a just a just a hair yeah. above uh, Charles. I'm gonna go with uh, Charles. Um, You're gonna go Charles? Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm gonna go Carlos. Yeah, I'm gonna go Carlos Sainz. I'm comfortable about this one. I don't. Uh, number three, Red Bull won Max Verstappen, your reigning world champion, uh, and Sergio Perez. Yeah, Verstappen and it's not going to be remotely close. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, I think yeah. Perez will do much better this year. I, think, I uh, hope so too. Um, assuming the car fits him reasonably well, 
but uh, I do not believe anybody on the uh, track is uh, remotely close to Verstappen. Mm. So. It will be very interesting to see how Red Bull and the new Red Bull Motors division do with these Honda engines. Yep. Um, if you haven't heard, well, you probably know that they used Honda engines this season, yep. and Honda's getting out of Formula One, but there's an engine freeze. So for the next few years, some Honda engineers are going to be working with Red Bull to maintain that engine. Yep before they make a decision for 2025. Yep. And, uh, it, you know, uh, they, and there's been a lot of talk out of Honda of uh, why did we get out of it? Why did we not keep doing this? Yeah. We just won. But uh-huh. That's a whole other thing. But yeah, it's absolutely going to be Max. And But I think I think Sergio will be more more competitive this year. I certainly hope so. I certainly hope so. I sure need him to, to beat uh, George Russell and Hamilton periodically. <laughs> uh, all right. Number four here. One McLaren, Daniel Ricardo, and Lando Norris. Lando Norris, and it's—I I just don't think it's close anymore. I, I like uh, Ricardo a fair amount, but it—it's certainly—it's it, hard not to look at Daniel's performance and think, is it? Are we past? Maybe, maybe the flash has come and gone. But I don't—I don't know. You—you you look at Monza where they—they—they they, they ended up doing very well, yeah. even if you didn't take in he, the crash into account. He won a race this year, didn't he? Yeah, that was that was Monza. That was the one too. So uh, he still has the capability, but no, I think Lando is mm. the chosen one over there now. You know, I, I, I like. Yeah, I have come around to Daniel. I like Daniel a lot more. Yeah, but I, 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 I don't know. I don't know if it's just he had it. He's had a tough time with this car getting adjusted he's to a it. He's frat boy. How do you feel about frat boys? He is kind of frat boy. He's full. He's full frat boy. Yeah. I don't. You know. I don't know how bad of a frat boy, but like he's definitely that a top personality. Yeah. And he's yeah. he's very much got. I think he's still got a lot of the drive to survive heat on him. Yeah. You know. I mean, the the, the PR side from having Daniel Ricardo alone yeah. is going to be very strong. But I, I I think I think it's very close. But I think it will still be Lando because Lando has been using that car for longer. Yep. Um. And I. I don't know. I'm not going to say Daniel chokes, but he just hasn't brought it home yet. Yeah. In a great way. Yep. All right. Number five, Alpine of Juan Fernando Alonso versus Esteban Ocon. Ah, uh, it's got to be Alonso, right? It's got to be. Two-time you think world, so? Two-time world champion. I know he's uh, he's even older than you. That's <laughs> that's true. Even but o- o- Ocon does have a little bit of the young buck energy. He does. He does. And he's, it does seem like Alpine is getting. And I bet they're. Won a, and he won a race this year, Esteban. Did he win or did he podium? Probably won. I right? don't remember. You, you you probably remember better than me. Yeah, I think he won a race. Okay. Super. I. Super crazy. You know, I'll, I'll go. I'll go Alonzo with you on that because, uh, yeah, you can't beat a. It's gonna be tough to beat a world champion. Yeah. On just youth alone. Yeah. Um. But but hopefully Alpine is more competitive this year uh, with yeah. Renault. I getting, hope everybody's more competitive this year. Yeah. It'd be it'd be fun to see. It'd be, it'd be crazy if we actually had like four or five teams actually could win a race because this year. Uh, there's really only three teams that had a chance to win a race, and really only two with, with uh, Mercedes and uh, Red Bull. Right. And then, like, you know, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Elkander Pasa asks, when and where is the next race? So the first race begins in Bahrain in March, March. I want to say. Yeah. Yeah. So they're getting started pretty quick. Yeah. And it's not too long of an offseason. Yeah. Uh, all right, that's uh, halfway. Uh, we'll probably go a little faster through these last yep. five. Number six, Alpha Tauri, Pierre Gasly, and Yuki Sonoda. Oh, man, it's Gasly all the way. It's got to be Gasly. I mean, hopefully Sonoda can turn around and not be so up and down. Yeah. I'm kind of surprised they kept him. I wonder if it's the Japanese money. Mm. You know, all the sponsors from sure. Japan, because he's the only Japanese driver, and so that he, so they get a fair amount of advertising, the money. I also, you, you also kind of get the sense that when they rebranded from... Um, uh, Toro Rosso. From Toro Rosso to Alpha Tauri, that they wanted to get out of. They, they did two things. They wanted to get out of this like second team concept, yep. mm-hmm. but also you kind of get the sense that they recognize that Pierre is really strong. Yep. He he can perform with that machine. Yep. Let's let's give people a little bit of time. And I think I think hearing hearing them talk about Yuki, it was always that of like we're gonna give him some time to see. If this yeah. w- he, works he shows out. flashes of super fast, but he also yeah. shows flashes of super crash. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, I think that's something that you just got to get used to. Yep. You know, I'm glad we're speeding through these. All. Yeah, so it's number seven, <laughs> Al, uh, Aston Martin, one Sebastian Vettel, and Lance Stroll. Um, what do you think, Mister Number Two versus 
Man, I can't go against Vettel. Vettel's my homie. Vettel was my boy who won four championships for me. So, man, I got to go Vettel. Vettel? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's Vettel. I mean, yeah. I Lance seems cool. Lance, as far as the Lance seems cool, but it's it's Sebastian for sure. Yep. Uh, number eight, Alpha Romeo won Valtteri Bottas, coming over fresh from Mercedes, and Guan Yu Zhao, who has been promoted from F2. I mean... This is tough. Uh, this is very tough. I'm going to go with Zhao just because... I don't think Valtteri does well and not the fastest car. Oh, I see. He does not pass people very well. Okay. Uh, and that's all you're going to be doing back there with Alfa Romeo is a turn to pass people. So True. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go with Zhao. All right. I, I'm going to go Botas. Um, I think, yes, not the fastest car, but he does have, by being a second drive, a number two driver, he has more experience being in traffic. Yeah. So I, I think I'll, I'd give it. Uh, number nine, Haas won Mike, Sh- Mick, not Mike, Mick Schumacher and Nikita Mazepin. Uh, uh, it's uh, Mick all the way because yeah. Nikita Mazepin. Which is, uh, Chris has put in this it's, yeah, document it's, too. Chris, you can tell Chris is a uh, definitely a <laughs> F1 guy putting Mazepin in there. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, it's no. It's, no. The, the only reason Nikita's there is because of Russian uh, financing. Sure, he is a pay driver. Yes. And yeah. And also, there was an article that came out over the past couple of days that was from Kimmy, maybe, that was like, yeah, man, Mick is the first in the paddock, and he's the last one to leave, yep. and that's going to be really strong. And so you have a car that has is actually touched, and I think Mick is just going to fly away with it. Yeah, totally. And number 10, Williams, Alex Albon versus Nicholas Latifi. Latifi all the way. I've really? No go Tifi? for Albon. <laughs> I've got no patience for him uh you know what i am on i'm on the wait and see camp so i'm i'm gonna say alex alex alvon yeah uh to see scoring a point on that one baby <laughs> all right well, that, well that'll do it we'll, we'll we'll not get the rest of these we've got plenty of time to do the rest of these so we'll do those another week um but uh thank you chris for this and uh yeah, that's awesome man uh did you have a good you have a good holiday Corey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was busy. Good with family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we got uh, a cold. Apparently, ran through the family. Oh yeah. They say I'm not contagious, but I'm just trying to be a good uh, citizen in the world. Much appreciated. I'm sporting the mask. Uh, yeah, it's been chasing us for like chasing me for like two weeks now. So I'm oh, yeah. antibiotics and all that kind of jazz. Yeah. The first, uh, you know, having some of these days off here, the first kind of couple of days was very. I, I couldn't. I, I wasn't sure if it's because I got a weighted blanket or because of whatever else. Ooh, but it, a weighted blanket. How many pounds? It's fifteen. Okay. Well, it's it's pretty light. I think. Yeah. That's where okay. they go. Yeah. Um. And so I couldn't tell if it was that or maybe my body was finally like, okay, you can be a little bit sick. Yeah. Uh. And so I, I you could tell. I, and then all the allergies and shit. That's just ugh, ugh, mm-hmm. ugh, really bad. Yeah. So that was yours. Did you, did you go anywhere? Did you hang out? I just I just hung out. I played a lot of games. Yeah. Um. You know, I was talking last week about you. You had asked about uh, suggestions for RPGs. Yeah. For uh for your daughter. Um. Oh and uh. Oh, what was it? Divinity Original Sin. Okay. Divinity 2 Original Sin. Okay. It's something I just started. That is, it's uh, there's a good amount of voice acting, a lot of reading, but it is um, kind of a top-down uh, 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 turn-based RPG. Yeah? Yeah. What uh, system? Uh, it's, on, it's on everything. Okay. It's on everything. Um, and uh, I, I I think that uh, playing a little bit of it, I felt like, okay, if you, if you feel like she's got it down to play like Dungeons or oh, yeah. like from Borderlands, she can play. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we actually were playing Halo the other day. Oh, yeah. I was actually surprised. We were playing Halo uh, 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 P- PvP. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Halo, uh, yeah, Infinite PvP. And she actually did pretty decent. I was pretty impressed, you know. And obviously, wow. that started us off on the lowest setting, you know. Yeah. But she was actually able to kill some people and get a lot. Oh, nice. So she died less than me. Wow. Are you, died? Uh, are you good at Halo, Justin? Fuck no. No? I'm not good at Halo. Not good at Halo. I did. I have watched a bunch of commercials for um, the Halo show on Paramount Plus. Coming to Paramount, yeah. Because I was watching Detroiters, and uh, uh, I didn't spring for the commercial-free <laughs> option. Wow. So I, I know very well that there's a new Halo show coming <laughs> to Paramount Plus. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Are you All gonna, right. All right. Thanks, Justin. <laughs> Are you going to let your daughter watch the Halo show? 
Do you think she might like it? No, not you. I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll watch it first. Uh, she, uh, she can handle some pretty decent PG-13 stuff. So. Okay. Yeah, I think they're not going to... She watches like Jurassic Park. She loves Jurassic Park. Uh, She's nine. But yeah, uh, That's cool. Yeah. As long as it's nothing too crazy, mm. which I don't think Halo is going to be... No, it's not going to be... Yeah. It's not going to be Gears. Yeah. You know, it's not going to be Gears of War, for sure. Nope. All right. All righty. Love you. Well, fun. thank you, Corey. And thank you, everybody, for joining me here in the green room, great room. Um, uh, uh, hello, everybody. Got a few minutes here before we get started with the rest of the show, but uh, I want to remind you a couple of things. Oh, shit. I had, I had a couple of things I needed to do, and I'm not ready to do it. But uh, uh, check the show notes, people who are listening, and then we'll have the link if you're listening live here in just a little bit. But uh, we are running a, a New Year Who Dis. Uh, we're going to do a, uh, a little bit of a listener survey um over the, over the next little bit here so uh check the show notes for the link the bitly link to uh sign up for that survey um and we'll have it here in the chat in just a little bit um but please please do that that helps us out a lot in terms of uh knowing how you guys are feeling uh how, and, and not feeling you know the, the the listening audience the silent majority people who can't be here live in the chat room uh so check that out thank you very much uh, of course I'll, always the email greatnightpod at gmail.com uh, at Great Night Live on Twitter, uh, all sorts of good stuff. All right, everyone is still getting getting settled here a little bit, so uh, so we'll take another couple of minutes. You know, uh, so uh, I've I've been uh, I don't have it yet. I will have it in just a few minutes. I haven't done it yet, but it will be in the show notes for wherever you're listening to this. Um, but uh, yeah, got kids. What was the story from this week? Thank you. All righty, let me take a look around here. Uh, Brett, are you good? I'm good. Hello. Corey, you good? Yeah. Brian, yeah. you good? Yes. Okay, there we go. Justin, you good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm also good. You're... <laughs> okay. they, I can see you guys. You guys are right there. You guys are good. All right. Well, thank you for joining me one more time here in the great night green room, great room. We're going to take you over to the proper show, which is starting in uh, just a few seconds here. I will count you in, Mr. Weaver. Are you ready? Thank you. Yes. All thank right. you. 